Hello world, boyfriend here, and I don't know what it is about uh, pickup videos, but I can't get enough of them. And, and I'm talking about the, the fixed camera angle, minimal edits, 10 minutes long, just me talking to you. These are the things I love, and I don't know why they're hypnotizing. Um, and there are a multitude of YouTubers that uh, do pickup videos, all of them I love. Uh, a couple that come to mind right away that I would like to give uh, shout outs to if for some reason you didn't know about these guys uh, before you saw me, go check these guys out. Um, they're definitely an inspiration for why I'm doing this. And that would be Luigi Freakout123, Terry Tyler. You guys set the standard for the pickup video, in my opinion. And uh, I just uh, keep them coming. Thank you. And the other guy I would like to shout out to is Michael B. the Game Genie. Now this guy hails all the way from Canada, where they talk like leprechauns apparently. Uh, no, and he uh, is trying to complete his NES collection, and he's getting pretty high up there. Uh, and he does like a monthly video, it's really exciting. Uh, best of luck to you, Michael B. And uh, yeah, and then there's uh, t tons more, just go look. Uh, that's what YouTube's for, right? There's a search bar. Um, but anyway, I wanted to get in on the game, and here I am in front of my wall o media uh, and let's get this thing underway. Now, I should mention, this pickup video, being my first, is going to be a little bit more special than uh, anything that comes after this, because I have a lot of stuff built up to show you guys, so don't expect the caliber of what you're about to see in subsequent videos, um, because... Uh, it just probably won't be that. Uh, let's get this going. So, I just started collecting Nintendo Powers and um, uh, magazines, guides, I'm into it all. Excuse me. This is the humble beginnings. Starting off, how am I gonna do this? Here we go. I'm such a newbie at this. Uh, first thing, top secret passwords. Not much to say about that one. Super Nintendo Player's Guide. Um, so the, the SNES is, surprise, surprise, my favorite system. And I know it's a lot of people's favorite system, but it's a, a lot of people's favorite system for good reason, you know. Uh, but it's also my favorite system, so... I don't know why I felt the need to... I guess because I was talking about that. Anyway, SNES, woo! Here we go, on with the show. Volume... What is this? Uh, 81. And this, um, this one, this is great. Charles Landis, wherever you are, mine! Uh, no, uh, this one I wanted to get because uh, it's got a Mega Man X3 guide in it, and the Mega Man X series is, um, surprise, surprise, one of my favorite series. And then I thought, if you're gonna start, boyfriend, if you're gonna start collecting Nintendo Power, where's a good place to start? Well, why not the start? So, Number one. That's right. Um, look at that. Oh, I, you know, and I really, I can't do this justice. If you were here to hold it and see it, you'd see this is in really great condition. I, and I got it for a steal. Um, the, the one thing that's a bit of a bummer is it doesn't have the Zelda map, but I figure I could just either get a crappier uh, copy that does have it or just find it on its own if I can. Um, either way, this was too good to pass up, and I'm very happy that uh, I was able to track it down for the price that I did. On to some games! Here we go! So, like I said, I love the Super Nintendo, so a lot of the games that I'm going to show, uh, especially today, are going to be Super Nintendo games, because I've been buying them up lately. So, let's start with these guys. Uh, first off, we got uh, Brain Lord. Now, this is a... Uh, here we go. This is a, why do people do that? I feel like it goes blurry. And like, can you guys even, what is that? Cause I, it doesn't focus, does it? I'm, I'm recording on my iPhone right now. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna go further back. <laughs> no, um, Brain Lord, RPG. I don't really know much about it. I put it in to make sure it worked and that's about all I know. The title is Brain Lord. What do you guys think? Uh, this is a cool one. Uh, King Arthur and the Knights of Justice. Now, this was, uh, I wanted to get, um, I know it's an uncommon game, which is pretty cool, but it's also, I, I, this was based on a cartoon show from the 90s. I grew up loving this show. 
Um, it, it, and when I found out there was a game for it, I, you know, it piqued my interest. I had to get it. Um, and that's why I got it. I don't really know much about that game either. Um, this game, though. This game. Oh, Run Saber. Um, and that uh, Run Saber. Can I get any closer? Uh, Run Saber. This is... Um, go get it if you can find it. This is great. Um, I had been looking for this game for a long time, and I finally found it and snapped it up uh, right away. Did snap it up? Does that make sense? Because I snapped. I snapped, and it was mine. It's like a magic or something. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. I also collect for uh, Game Boy, and uh, I got a couple games recently um, that I think are worth mentioning, and that would be Mega Man 2 and... Mega Man 3! Woo! Now, uh, I have the first one as well, so I'm obviously missing number 4 and the ever-elusive 5, um, but I am three-fifths of the way there, and I think that's pretty good. Moving on to Manuel's. I don't know who started that. Was it Aaron and Ricky? I'm not sure, but whoever did start it, I'm, I'm in it. I love it. Manuel's. Um... Now, all these games I have the actual game for, but I don't have the box, so the Manuels are loose, just like the game. Uh, and we have Strike Gunner, nice little shoot 'em up or shmup. Uh, Star Trek TNG Futures Past. This game blows. I don't think they will ever be able to figure out how to do a good Star Trek game, uh, and that definitely wasn't one of them. Uh, Lethal Enforcers. This is cool. This is one of the light gun games for the, the SNES Super Nintendo. And uh, if you look to my left, your right, old Rob is holding the Justifier, uh, which is the gun for the Lethal Enforcers game. Came with it. Choplifter 3. This is a cool game. Um, and that's my review. Cool game. <laughs> uh, Cool Spot. You know, now this one, a lot of people say is an underrated gem. I never really cared for it. It's one of those platformers where I feel like it's zoomed in too close. And this is this to me is what defines a bad platformer. When the camera is too close on the um, main character and you, you don't have enough uh, sideways view, if that makes sense. You can't see far enough in front of you. And that drives me nuts when games are like that. And Cool Spot, while it isn't the worst offender of this, there are plenty worse out there. Um, it's just on the edge that that you you can't really see that far ahead, and it it just drives me nuts. It drives me nuts. Cool Spot, more like Drool Spot. Ho ho! Nailed it! Nailed you! I got that one from Burn School. I don't know what I'm talking about. Adventures of Mighty Max. Did I save the best men well for last? This game blows, but I'd like to mention it because this was my absolute favorite cartoon show growing up, and I think I'm one of the few that will actually uh, say that because not a lot of people seem to know about that show. They're, they're probably familiar with the toy line that it was based on, but the show was amazing. I loved it, and come on, they need to bring it out on DVD or Blu-ray or Netflix or anything. God, they, they, you just... You can find it on YouTube, but I'd like to have a good quality version of the show that I could get. Um, and actually, I'd like to point this out. I was Mighty Max for Halloween a couple years ago, and I had a custom-made hat so I could be the Cap Bearer. Uh, neat little factoid. And finally, some other games. Ooh, not that one. We'll save that for last. Uh, these were some other ones that I had the game for already, um, and I got the Manuel. Um, some cooler ones, though. This one I did get the game for recently, along with the Manuel, and that is Cybernator. Cool game. Well, uh, mech game. Uh, and then, of course, Super Metroid. Classic. Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Another classic. Contra 3, The Alien Wars. Total piece of crap. Who would play that game? And finally, the creme de la creme. Uh, this is so good, I'll take it out of the case. Now, I got this on Craigslist for a steal. And you'll see why, for obvious reasons. There's, uh, It's obvious why I got it for a steal. Nonetheless, I couldn't pass it up. been looking for this game forever, and I think a lot of people look for this game and don't find it. And that is Hagane. And if you can see, that label is 
effed up. Um, nonetheless, the game plays perfectly. It's freaking Hagane. If I didn't get it, someone else would, and who knows? You know, I, I feel like these games, uh, especially the, the extra rare ones, the extra rare, the super rare ones, um, if they don't go into someone's collection, you know, I just get worried that they're going to go away and someone's going to throw them away or destroy it or something. So even though it's not the best condition, got it for like the best price you could get it for. And uh, I'm, I'm not going to throw it away or destroy it. So there we go. And that is it. I got to come up with a cool name for this segment. Um, maybe like Boyfriend Stash or... Boyfriend and the Amazing Technicolor Game Collection. Or maybe I'll just throw it out to you guys. What should I call this segment? Um, help me out, and maybe next time I'll have a title for it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Boyfriend out. There's no good way to end these things. How do you do it? Random edit.